Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Street View into Unreal Engine 5. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. I already give you two download links. The first one is the Street View Grabber. And the next one is the Panorama Sphere FBX file. What you are going to do is just go and download these two once you already download this tool, if it is a zip file, you have to extract it. Now, as demo, I will put this tool in, onto my desktop. The first one is the Street View Gravel. By default, it don't have an output folder at there. All right. The next one is the Panorama Sphere FBX. So next, what you are going to do is just go and find your Google Street View. You can scroll, scroll down, go to my video description to enter the Google Street View through the Google Map. So now I will click into this, the Google Maps. It will be here. The maps.google.com. And now what I want is to capture the street view, for example, I go to Singapore. I want to capture a random street view here. Just have a click. Now, you can see the street view is here. This is Google Map. And if I want to capture this street view at here, what I must do is just open the svgrab.exe. Once you open already, next, you must make sure you adjust the quality at the second dot here and untick the crop panorama. Next, in your Google Street View, copy the URL, right click copy, and then now you back to your Street View Grabble, click Add Panel. Do you want to import URLs from clipboard? This one you choose yes. Next, you click Grab. Right, just a few seconds, you can close it. It will generate an output folder. And this is the picture, the panorama texture for any of the UV sphere in 3D. All right, this is the picture that we want. This is the street view. Next, you can open your Unreal Engine. This is the Unreal Engine 5, uh, sorry, this is the Unreal Engine 5 preview version. I'm going to launch it now. And now I, I'm waiting for a while, it is launching. It is launching the Unreal Engine 5 preview. Now you can see my Unreal Engine 5 preview version is loading. Now as demo, I will just create a new file, a new game, a third person game. And then the project name, I will just name it as demo02. It is going to save under the documents Unreal Project folder. I create it. And now it is creating a new project. Now it is still loading. Now this is a third person template. Right. If I try to test play, you can see now I'm going into, into here. So this is just a sample third person game. So now I want to import the Google Street View into here, the Unreal Engine 5 preview. 
So now, if you already, if you already download the panoramasphere.fbx, what you are going to do is just go back to your content folder here, right click, right click new folder. If you are un unable to see the content browser, you have to go to here, window, content browser. Now the first one, this one is already here. If you accidentally close it, then you have to go, go to the window content browser, the content browser once. Under the content, you right click, new folder. I name this as Street View 01. All right, Street View 01. All right, I double click in. Then, I'm going to import the panorama sphere, drag in only. Then click import all. Now it is importing the panorama sphere. So at this moment, this is the one, this is the static mesh. What you are going to do is just double click in. And then here you have to find out the collision. The collision here, the collision preset, the collision complexity, you may just put Use the complex collision as simple. This is very crucial. And here, the collision preset is blocked all. That means it have the collision. If you are inside the sphere, you are unable to work out. So you may change it to no collision as well if you want. But by default, I will just use the block all. Then I click save, close. Now I will drag it out, the panorama sphere. Now you can see. It is here, right? Next, what am I going to do is just try to test play. Now, you can see. Now, if you are inside this sphere, you are unable to walk out. Next is the, the texture. The texture you have to drag in the output of the street view gravel. This is the picture. Just drag in into the same folder and wait for a while. Now this is the texture. Then you drag in into here. It will replace the texture. You can just observe for a while. You can see if you play now. If you are inside, this is exactly the street view, but now you don't have any of the light yet. Of course, you can just, just put some light into here. If you want to light, light it up. Now. Maybe I put it at the center here. Alright, now try to play test again. If you go in, you can see this is exactly the street view. The street view that you already import into there. Alright, so if you want to make it bigger, you can just click the street view here and press R to make it bigger. As big as you want, it is up to you if you play now. Wait. Now the texture already have some problem. Most probably you already reverse it. Right. You just want to make it bigger. You don't want to reverse it. Now this is the straight view. Alright, now you can see with certain collisions, you are unable to run out from the straight view, but it's okay. If you want to just remove it, remove the You want to remove the collisions, you can just double click here. This is the static mesh, this one. Double click it. And then you scroll down, go to the collision setting. 
the collision presets, you can make it become no collision. If you make it become no collision and save it, next time, when go when you go in, you still can go, it can come out anytime. You can see now for this street view, it doesn't have any of the collision. And it is really convenient for you to just import any of the Google Street View from from Google Street View into Unreal Engine 5. This is the Unreal Engine 5 preview version. Right. That's all for today about how to import the Google Street View into Unreal Engine 5 preview version. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you'll receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.